Hello folks, Manito here, I hope you're doing good. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up Tesla Menu for your modded Nintendo Switch. What is Tesla Menu? Tesla Menu is like the quick menu that you can access on your Switch by holding the home button, but it's centered on homebrew. Tesla Menu loads overlays for homebrew apps and sys modules on the fly. Sys modules are background processes that are built into the Switch firmware. What modders have been able to do is create their own homebrew Swiss modules that add functionality to your Switch. For example, Sys FTPD Lite, which is a way to transfer files wirelessly to and from your Nintendo Switch. And Fizu, which is a way to adjust the contrast, brightness, and other settings of your Switch screen. Guides for both of these videos will be in the description. Now, this guide is intended for users that already have a modded Switch and a basic understanding of how to move mods to their SD card. If you don't have a modded Switch, check out my noob friendly guide in the description. It goes over the basics of setting up Atmosphere custom firmware and homebrew on your Switch. And before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos, streams, and to support the channel. I noticed most of you that watch these videos are sadly not subscribed, so please subscribe and help build up the channel even more. Thank you for your support. I also have a growing community Discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community. Now we can get to the installation tutorial. Let's begin. Connect your Switch SD card to your computer. I'll be connecting via FTP, wireless file transferring. Open up your preferred browser and search up Werewolf GitHub. Click here, Werewolf's GitHub. Huge shout out to Nick, aka Werewolf. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Everything we'll be downloading in this video was released by Werewolf. I like the Professor Layton pick. <laughs> if you think Tesla Menu is awesome and you would like to support Werewolf, you can do so here on GitHub. Click on Sponsor, and here you go. Now, back to the tutorial. The first thing we'll be downloading is NX OVL Loader. Click Repositories and search up NX OVL. Click here. As the GitHub says here, NX OVL Loader is a host process for loading Switch Overlay OVLs, NROs. Click on Releases. At the time of recording, the latest release is version 1.0.7. If it's at a higher version when you are downloading this, that's okay. Go with the latest. Click nxovlloader.zip to download it. Open it and extract it. Now drag the atmosphere folder from nxovlloader to the root of your SD card. And it should merge with the already existing atmosphere folder. Now it's time to download OVL Sys modules and Tesla menu. Head back to the Repositories page, and search up Tesla. Click Tesla Menu. Click Releases. And to download the latest ovlmenu.zip. Open it, and extract it. Now, drag the Switch folder to the root of your SD card. Again, merging it with the current Switch folder on your SD card. And close that out. Now, head back to the Repositories page one last time. We'll be downloading OVL Sys Modules. OVL Sys Module is a Tesla overlay that allows you to toggle Sys Modules on the fly. Click Releases, and to download the latest OVL Sys Modules.OVL. On your SD card, open the Switch folder, and open .overlays. I already have some Sys module overlays here, as you can see. Now we're going to take OVL Sys modules .ovl and to drop it here in the overlays folder. There we go. Now here we are on the switch. If you used FTP to move the files to your SD card, hold the power button, select power options, and restart. If you removed your SD card, enter RCM and boot into Atmosphere as you normally would. Here we are back on the home menu. Now the hotkey to open up Tesla is L, D-pad down, and the right stick. 
If you see this menu pop up, then mission accomplished. If you're playing docked and you don't see anything, or maybe saw it appear for a second, check your TV scaling in your Switch system settings. If it's under 100%, you may have issues with the Tesla menu appearing while docked. If you don't have any sys modules here, you probably don't have much on your SD card other than mods and a few homebrew apps. If you set up things like FPS Locker, Fizu, Status Monitor, SysClock, and SysTune, you'll see them here. The sys modules listed here have their own unique settings. If they're in the sys modules tab, they can be toggled on and off. You can even press Y to toggle auto start when booting into atmosphere. The home icon means it'll automatically turn on at startup, and the X means it'll be disabled at startup. This only affects when you do the initial launch into atmosphere. It's useful if you're in and out of custom firmware and want certain things on right away without having to manually turn them on. For example, I have SysFTPD Lite always on since it's a convenient way to move files to your SD card. Now one thing to take note of before I end the video, and that is potential crashes. As you can see, I have quite a few sys modules installed. And actually, I did end up crashing Tesla menu while recording this video by spamming off and on several sys modules, but I doubt you'll be doing that. There's no real use case for that. There is a very real situation that I've encountered crashes with, and that is having Sys FTPD Lite and Sys HID Plus on at the same time. They both connect your switch to your computer wirelessly. Sys HID Plus sends inputs to your switch from your computer. It can be used for having friends remotely connect to your switch. Pretty neat. Sys FTPD Lite grants you access to the switch SD card. Also very neat. Now, I'm not sure what the technical reason behind this is, and maybe it's been patched, but if I have both enabled, I notice that my switch would crash. For the dynamic sys modules up here, I recommend only enabling them when you know you'll be using them. And down here, we have static sys modules. This is things like sysdvr, fizu, mission control, and saltynx. These sys modules need a reboot to work. So, if I press A, nothing happens, but I can press Y, to disable it, or Y again to enable it. So if I were to disable Mission Control and Salt TNX, in order to completely disable them, I would have to hold the power button, select power options, and restart. And now, if I head back to Sys modules, you'll see that they are turned off. I'm going to re-enable them though, since they're pretty neat. Mission Control lets you use pretty much any Bluetooth controller with your Switch. I have a video on that in the description. And Salty NX is used for file and code modification. Tesla menu is really neat, and I recommend it if you're looking to add more functionality to your Switch. Shout out again to Werewolf. And that is going to be all for the video. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much for your support, and thank you for your support and watching until the end. If you'd like to become a channel member and get these videos early, you can find more info in the description. On the left, you'll see a playlist for my Switch Mod tutorials. Definitely recommend that. And on the right, a video that YouTube recommends for you. Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya. Fox Christie.